Hey, it's Cynthia again. Um, thanks for coming back for part, well not part two, but my second <laughs> paper piecing video. Uh, I had so much fun in the first one, I thought I would go ahead and put together another one of the Mist Kate cuttables. Um, this file is called Cauldron, um, and it features an adorable witch's cauldron with some bubbling green liquid inside. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think today I'm going to mainly use my Tombow Aqua liquid glue because um, this one is a, a real nice glue. And the nice thing about this one that I really like is um, not only is it super easy to use, but it just dries clear and um, it doesn't stay sticky. So um, the Tombow Mono glue here that's white, um, if you accidentally get some along the edge of your project or whatever, it'll stay sticky and that can be a real problem. So um, I'll use this for some of the very finest dots of glue, but then uh, mostly I'll use this. And then of course I've got my little reverse tweezers. I love these things. It's great for picking up and handling little tiny bits or any bit really that you uh, have trouble handling. And then I've got one of my, or the quick quick pick-me-up tool here that has that little rubbery tip uh, that sticks to things. And then this little stick that sits in the end of that tool um, is also handy. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. So um, again, when you get these cut files, um, you're going to get a picture of what the finished item looks like as well as an assembly instruction sheet. So um, I've got the finished picture pulled up on my computer for my guide um, and I'm going to go ahead and use that. This is the lightest gray and uh, this is the piece that I'm going to go ahead and start with. Now um, I need to be careful. I'm actually going to glue this second piece because of this large opening here. Um, I'd hate to put glue on this piece and have it exposed here. So I'm going to glue the back of my middle piece, which is a nice charcoal gray. So again, because this is a bigger piece of paper, I'm going to use my liquid glue. It is now nighttime and it's pitch black outside. So I put up some different lighting. I'm using my special daylight uh, lamp, so we will see what that does for us. Anyway, I'm just putting some glue here and there. Um, I'm going to run my finger along this edge a little bit because I really don't want it squishing around too much. Okay, so here's that light gray bottom piece, and I'm going to Go ahead and let the top edge and the little feet be my guide for putting them together. I'm just going to press all over. And there's that bit. And you can see how cute it is when you have that little light gray uh, curve peeking through. And of course, if you wanted to, uh, you wouldn't have, I mean, you could just cut this uh, curve out of the light gray and insert it instead of using a whole piece. But I just like to do it this way. It's easier. And um, I have a lot <laughs> of colored cardstock in my craft collection. So there's no such thing as me ever running out. Okay, so here is the top piece, and it has an even larger opening, which in a moment you'll see why. Again, I'm going to just run a small trail around. Kind of, I didn't really get that very well. Run my finger along here. And again, use the feet as a guide, and also 
that top edge uh oh I hope my battery doesn't fail my uh, camera is flashing at me and I don't know why but I'm gonna pretend that it's not <laughs> till it starts smoking or shooting flames I'm gonna keep going okay so now I have both the lightest gray and the charcoal gray exposed and there is the lovely black cauldron so super super cute gosh these shadows are extreme Woo. anyway so what's next um this I think I'm gonna assemble separate um, from the cauldron to start with so again I'm gonna leave my bottom piece down put some glue on the middle piece and officially I think I reversed my light and darkest greens but who cares it's some nasty green liquid stuff that the witch is making she won't mind okay so this fits basically directly on top so that makes it easy for getting into the right position so see it's important that you don't get glue squishing out your sides you want to always put as little amount as of glue as you think you're going to need. So there's that. And then the, oh dear, this piece uh, is going to be my top piece. And like I said, this piece should really be the lightest green, <laughs> but I didn't do it that way. So this now this one I kind of have to pay attention to because this one is obviously smaller and it sits a little bit off to this side and nudges against the top here but not the bottom. So I want to make sure I get that in the right position. So then you look like you've got some bubbles that are on the surface here partly submerged in the green goo. I have another cut file that I am dying to print off and make a video of, so watch for that one coming up. A little more creepy stuff from the witch's kitchen. <laughs> okay, so there's what that looked like. All right, and so... Um, what should I do here? I guess this is going to get attached and you want to leave a nice even edge around the cauldron um, so that it looks like you know you've got a nice fat lip around the edge of that cauldron and then the gooey stuff inside. So I'm actually not going to put glue right here on this bubble oh, as I do it. Oops. Anyway because it sticks up a little bit so until I attach this down to a project page, I am just not going to put glue there. So I have it like this. And again, I'm sitting in a funny position behind my own camera here. So I'm doing my best to get that even, but you'll have to pardon me if it's slightly off but hey it's handcrafted right handcrafted it always has a little custom touch super cute okay. alrighty so I went ahead and did the very smallest bubbles these are the bubbles that come bubbling out of the top um, away from the hot liquid here so these can just get scattered around and since these were so tiny I just went ahead and assembled them off camera so that I wasn't struggling in front of you all 
So that's frustrating. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them around like this. And then here I have two that have yet to be assembled. So you've got your back piece, which is solid, and then that top piece, which has a little opening uh, just like this. So you can get a little shine on your bubble. So let's do the biggest one first. This is probably where I should do my mono, uh, the white glue, but I'm not going to because just keep going with what I have. This will work just fine. And again, these are just two circles, so they should come together pretty easily. So see, this looks like an olive. <laughs> So this nice big bubble can kind of go right here. And again, you know, when you're securing this down to your project, this is kind of the idea with the little bubbles coming up out of your stuff. And now this final one, again, I'm going to put the glue on the top piece so that I keep that opening free of any glue. Turn it around. Stick it down. You're probably only watching my hands. I'm trying to remain conscious of letting everyone see what I'm doing. So, see? Oops. Oh, gracious. Anyway, fine. That bubble is not cooperating. All right. Super darling. So, that is what it would look like. Um, when it's attached down to either a card front or a scrapbook page or whatever it is that you're using it for. So I think it's super cute. Anyway, thank you again so much for uh, being with me today. And um, like I said, this is going to be an ongoing series of paper piercings. And of course, I'm keeping with the Halloween theme because it still is October. Uh, we've got about nine, eight or nine days before the big holiday hits. So anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a fun one and uh, take care. Bye-bye.